I wanted to thank everyone for coming out here this morning in a place that's going to be very different starting this fall. And for me, it's about hope, it's about providing a portal to permanent supportive housing on the island of Oahu. As you know, since I became mayor, uh, we've initiated this compassionate disruption program. And we've been pretty effective in terms of disruption, meaning we're moving people from sidewalk to sidewalk, to park to park, to different areas through our stored property ordinance, sidewalk nuisance ordinance, and our sit lie measures. But at the end of the day, it's about getting folks into housing where they can receive the support they need to get back on their feet again. And what we're going to be doing is today, as we speak, we're issuing two RFPs. One is an RFP for about 500,000 to buy containers to house somewhere between 75 people at minimum and up to 100 people in a very nice setting with more solid housing than just putting tents out here as initially discussed. The second RFP is for the wraparound supportive services. It's going to be about 800,000. That's going out today too to providers who are standing here, which we hope will bid on this project, to provide services for the coming year for the folks who live out here. And I'm really excited about it. As you know, as you see this map, it shows where we're talking about over here um, as you cross over the bridge. But it's going to look like this. We're basically creating a campus where people will live in a unit that will have a locked door, a window, ventilation on the ceiling, where they can come out and stand under a shade cloth where it's cool, gather in a communal eating area where they can sit and talk story, play cards, play chess, whatever they want. Um, and they can go use the Lua over here in a private setting where there will be a toilet and a shower, private just for them. And there will be an intake center over here for our provider, whoever is a successful bidder, to help process people coming in and also help them get back out into the community again. It's going to be serviced by a bus that will come out here to bring people to and from. So it's not a place where they're stuck. It's a place where they can live, where they can stay for the day if they want to, or they can get up in the morning and go back into town or other parts around Honolulu. And they can come home at night where they can be secure in a locked unit. I'm hoping that we'll have, I'm, I'm really hoping we can get 100, but a minimum of 75 folks that will probably stay here for a minimum of 60 days, providers tell us it takes about that long for someone to get back on their feet and find housing, but it could be longer. This, as we said, is a portal to affordable housing. It's not a portal back into being homeless on the street again. And if it takes longer to find people housing or another shelter space that's appropriate for them, we will do so. Here's an example, a more close-up. Um, as you can see, here's where you have it open to the trades, more old-style housing. you got the canvas that provides shade. Um, you're going to have windows on the back so trades can blow through it. You have doors that they can leave open, but they can lock and be secure. And the idea is that they would move into here, somewhere between 75 and 100 folks, get treated and supported by the provider who would be the winning bidder. And in a minimum of 60 days or maybe longer, they get back out into the community again, into the appropriate type of housing that providers would, would help them find. I believe that if we make it nice enough, off the ground, cool, secure, where they can leave their things and go about their business and not worry about things being stolen, that those who are living on our streets and Kapalaba Canal or Kaka'aka or other areas, as we do our enforcement actions, will be given the opportunity to come here. And just like IHS does in their Housing First initiative in Waikiki, we'd love to show them a unit. And if they like it, they can stay. If they don't, they can get on the bus and go back. Um, but we don't want people living where it's not healthy, not sanitary, and not safe. We want more folks to live here. And this is going to be a prototype. We're going to try it at Sand Island. If it works here, we'll take it out to other communities. And so our hope is that by the end of the summer, we're going to, these RFPs go out today. By the end of the month, we'll open them and know who the successful bidder is. We'll start to work and prepare the property, grade it. The city's going to do that part of it, grade and put down the gravel. And then by this fall, providers will start to receive folks who are on our sidewalks and streets and parks to move into this place. And we'll see how it works. And we have a lease for three years with the state of Hawaii, a great partner. And we'll be looking to see if we can't do this in other parts of our city.